Hi, it's Brook, and today we're gonna take a look into the no, new killer's I power, Glyph, aka Vecna. As you can see, he has amazing animation, amazing sounds, incredible voice lines, and even his idol stance is really cool. Look at the skirt, it flows! Um, but let's take a look at what this fantastic character does. I, I love it, I love the aesthetic of this, I'm a huge fantasy fan, so... This is amazing for me. Let's see what it does. Let's see what this power is. And then we'll take a look at his perks too. So, this character comes with different abilities. You can choose one of his four different spells to activate while in trial. You hold the belly button one, which you bound to whatever you want, to open the spell book that we can see is holding close to his heart. The animation is just mind-blowing, I'm sorry. <laughs> and select one of these spells. I don't know how long the cooldown is gonna be between these, but we can take a look in a game very soon. So Mage Hand creates a magical hand that lifts down pallets or blocks upright pallets for four seconds. That seems broken. <laughs> Flight of the Damned conjures four, five flying entities that pass through obstacles and injure survivors. I guess like artist crows, but just it just injures survivors. That also seems broken. <laughs> Dispelling Sphere. Cast a moving invisible sphere that the real survivor and temporarily disables magic items. That I guess are gonna be his counters. Fly. Briefly move faster, ignoring bolts and pallets. Uh, uh, okay? On paper it seems really broken, but we can take a look uh, in a second. Special item. Magic items. Treasure chests found around the map can contain magic items for survivors to equip. This include... Boots or gauntlets of the interloper. When mage hand is used, reveals the aura of, of affected pallets and applies haste for 3 seconds. Okay, I guess it's the counter. The night watch reveals auras of flight of the dead so that you can, um, I suppose, avoid it. The archivist makes the spelling sphere visible so you can move away and not be revealed. The sky guard reveals the leak aura during fly and for a few seconds after. I, I don't know if that's gonna help you because if he moves faster, but anyway. Special items, hand and eye of Vecna. Rarely treasure chests contain the hand or eye of Vecna. When picked up and used by a survivor at full health, okay, they cost them a health state, reveal their location with clarity for 3 seconds and grant them a special ability. Hand of Vecna, a fast locker oh, entry teleports the survivor to a farther to locker. Cool. Eye of Vecna, a fast locker exit, hides the survivor's aura and grants haste for 12 seconds. This seems pretty strong, the Eye of Vecna. I mean, the other, yeah, too. It's, it's random, it's a random effect. So the, the locker is further away, but it's gonna be map dependent. Let's take a look at the perks, so we need to go in a custom for that, because I'm afraid I don't have anything unlocked. So, lick. Dark Arrogance increases the duration you are blinded by any means, and the duration of pallet stuns by 25%. That's a hefty downside for an increased regular vault speed by 20%. I don't see anything like this being anything more than like a meme to run with superior anatomy and bamboozle. Because you just run bamboozle. Like, the window gets blocked, you're 15% faster during vault speed. Why would you? Like, the downside is really, really, really tough. So, uh. Language touch. When a survivor within 36 meters of you scares a crow, they gain the exhausted soul's effect for 10 seconds. With a 20 second cooldown. The cooldown is a little bit long. I will make it maybe 15, but this seems pretty good to pair with Spice from the Shadows. So I can see myself using this, for example, on Dazzlinger. We have attunement. When an item becomes stupid for the first time, it is dropped. You see the auras of dropped items. And the survivors within 8 meters of these items have their auras revealed to you. Whenever the item gets picked up, they suffer the oblivious status effect for 30 seconds. So this is basically going to work like kind of undying, but in random locations. It's kind of a meme. <laughs> like, it's not useless, just like undying on its own is not useless. But I hardly see the point in a like, well-planned build. It would be nice in a random build, it adds that item of randomness. You are the Forgotten Ruins. Okay, so I only have spies, but so I'm gonna immediately cast this here. Oh, my power is loading. Okay, weird. Oh. 
want to open a chest, man. I swear to god, if I roll a one, <laughs> I'm gonna laugh so hard. Oh, gauntlets of the intro. Or is it or of the intro? Wow. Three seconds. Oh, but then you get slowed down! I don't know if I'm gonna suppose to this is on this fucker. <laughs> that was still a long chase, but I go check. I got some. I just don't know how to use it. But yeah. The pilot breaking animation. I mean, at least something. Plus, I, I can see like what survivors got as items. Mm -hmm. All things end. Inspiration, I still don't quite understand it. Oh, uh, it's gonna help you if you are near other survivors. So, if you're okay. near other survivors, you're gonna help them um, with skill checks if you get a good roll. Oh, okay. I understand. Yeah, I wanna go inside this. this hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> I, I, I'm oh, playing seriously. Oh, okay. I'll die, I guess. Because I want to go inside the thing, but I... No, you can go inside. I think that there are actually good things there. Don't ever get out. Ah, I'm dead! Oh, I wanted to see the thing! Fuck you! <laughs> Sorry, what's the... I don't know. I guess. It really does not matter. Maybe if you pair with Bomb Moon or not, okay, I will say. Someone is healing themselves right here. Ah! Oh my god, the zoning potential of cast flies. Can I marry someone? <laughs> I like this fear though. Like I like this tracking it provides. Yeah. I think I'm gonna marry the Cheryl if we wanna come upstairs. Oh yeah, wait, where uh, wait, I gotta Wait, there is a there is a why. <laughs> I'm at the 
bro, the zoning power of this thing is... My god. Ah, you know. Okay, I'm... Um, um, do you see? Okay. Oh no, she's not... Uh, not dead yet. Uh, can you unlock her? Oh my god, the cheese music. It's good, right? Yeah. Somebody block me, but they block her. Uh, I'm trying to. Thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, Are we ready? Uh, uh, uh. Yes. <laughs> Recover back. Oh, wow. Ooh, that looks good. It's very nice. short, uh, which is yeah. Do you have an artifact? No, you don't. An artifact? So apparently there are different mores depending if the survivors have an artifact or not. Okay. You mean as us in those like the things you get in the chests or? Yeah. Or so I want to find the the Dwight who apparently has no artifact. Oh, I'm getting value from the perk where you see the survivors in a eight minute run. Okay, I'm chasing the Yunjin downstairs. I went into a magic corner. Oh, I see. Oh my god. Uh, it doesn't work. And it looks like I mean, you're playing in like the second time. You move how you saw that. Okay? She should have no artifacts. Take a look. Yes. Yeah? This is the more with no artifact. Mm. Oh wow. I like that one more. That one is way better than the other. Love it. Let's go, let's go more that white. Yes, where is he? But I can't find a way to understand where he is. Probably. Oh, really. Is either there or on the Yep. Bro, the, the cast by thing needs to be nerfed. <laughs> shit. Yes. Ah! Oh, he has no artifact. Yo, you have to knock him. I love this. 